Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Tom Wynn, who is the Director of Minimally Invasive Valve Surgery and Chief Medical Executive of Baptist Health Miami Cardiac and Vascular Institute in Miami, Florida. Dr. Wynn, it is great to see you again. We've known each other for a long time. Thanks for being with me at STS. Pleasure. Thanks, Adam. Yeah. So, Dr. Wynn, we are getting lots of patient questions from people all over the world. And this question came in specific to your specialty in minimally invasive and robotics. This comes in from Sarah. She asks, Hi, Adam. I have decided to have my mitral valve repair robotically because of your videos. Is it true that I will need to have my breast implants removed prior to surgery? Thank you, Sarah, for that fantastic question. I think the most important question to really ask is if you're going to have your surgery done, to go to a place that can do the surgery in a lot of different ways. Robotic is one way, minimally invasive is another way, and the standard stenotomy is another way. So let me describe the logistics of robotic surgery. Usually, women's breasts are here and the implants are here. Unfortunately, when you do robotics, usually there's a requirement to do a port right here just to hold the camera or the retractor to look at the heart. Because of that, your implant's there, so oftentimes you will have to remove the implant and then do the surgery and put it back in, which is not the end of the world by any means. Another option, something that we do a lot of, you can imagine there are a lot of patients with breast implants, uh, is we can do it the minimally invasive approach where we can sneak on the side right around the implant and avoid it altogether. So we don't have to take it out and we can sneak right behind it and hide the incision right where the incision, uh, where your mammary fold is. So that's another option as well. So to answer your question, for robotic surgery, most likely we'll have to remove the implant. It's not the end of the world. We could put it back, close it up, and it should look normal. And oftentimes we can get our plastic surgeons involved as well to work as a team to make sure it looks as perfect as possible. The other option is to do it the traditional way on small incisions on the side. But the most important is go to a center that does a lot of robotic surgery, does a lot of minimally invasive surgery, is really comfortable with this disease pathology to give you the best outcomes possible. Wow, well, Sarah, yeah. I hope that helped you. I know it helped me, Dr. Wynn. And as always, thank you for everything Pleasure. you and your team are doing at Baptist Health South Florida in Miami, Florida. Thanks for being with me today. Thank you, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.